Good morning, Asia. Friends from Privateer FX here with the New York wrap. A look ahead at the, uh, the Asian trading session for the first day of March. I think we discussed the past couple days, we were expecting some dollar buying for the month end. We were expecting some equity rebalances that uh, would require buying as well. Take a look here, there's the S&P mini. Here's today's bar, no buying at all, which is interesting. You know, we, we were trying to sell this thing near 2,800. We, we just missed it, got up to 2,790. We do remain in the camp that this whole rally up from this, uh, <clears throat> down to the 200 day, where it held the 200 day and the rally up was a cor corrective, um, a corrective rally in, a, in what's becoming a you know medium term bear market and uh, well we got it the past couple of days so the, the the rally faltered had a big rever big reversal day here on uh, Tuesday and then more selling today now who knows there's a lot of month end shenanigans going on I don't fully trust this move um, but I wouldn't be surprised if we had a little bit a little bit more selling. Um, let me take a look here. Had, drew some fibs earlier. Let me just grab the, uh, the 240 chart. If we look here at the, from the low, we had that kind of that double bottom low. I get rid of my drawing tools. The double bottom low, which did hold on a closing basis, the 200 day moving average had the bounce, had the retest, uh, and then, like we said, up to this 2790. The first FIBO coming back down is 27, or sorry, 2690, and we had this uh, this reversal day here, reversal bar here at 2680. So for us, the support is 2680, 2690. If we already get fall through today in Asia, I would expect that area to hold first time. Um, Let's go back to the currencies. There were some really interesting. Uh, there are some interesting bars today. We were expecting dollar buying for month end, and we got it uh, across most currencies. I'll show the yen where that wasn't the case. But here's a euro. Closed right near the lows of days. Closing below 122. Closed just below 122. The figure, which was this horizontal that we had, it wasn't a great break trade. Actually, a pretty crappy one. Uh, cable, new Brexit concerns about the Northern Ireland border caused this to really underperform and cable and the cable crosses were in the sterling crosses were the weakest. Uh, and here's some old lows, this 137.67 closed pretty much right on it. <coughs> and that was that old low back on uh, February 9th. Um, Take a look at sterling yen. Sterling yen closed below the 200 day moving average for the first time since September. Bearish and taking out some old supports. Here's this double bottom that we were highlighting. Uh, we're just below that now, 146.95 area. This looks like it's got some more room, you know, on the 145, 144 handle. Euro sterling had a bullish engulfing day. Let me find it here. I remember correctly yes it did made a new low today closed well above one two three four four daily highs so again it's uh, it's really highlighting the uh the sterling weakness dollar cad's getting interesting up here we're we're closed above the 200 day yesterday right here closed above this fibo i can take that fibo out because that's gone now the next target here is this double double top, this double or triple top, 129, 15, 20. My guess is that we get up, we get up there with, uh, you know, if we see some more commodity weakness. Oil had a tough day down a couple percent, um, and then dollar yen was pretty much the only dollar that was not bought today for month end. You can see here, pretty powerful move down. So sterling yen, the weakest pair across the board against all the majors and the crosses, and uh, 
you know, we had some dollar EM strength, we had equity weakness, bonds were a, a tad bit, some commodity weakness, all a bit of risk off. However, again, it could be some month end shenanigans that, that were going on. I want to see confirmation of some of these risk off moves tomorrow and Friday. And if we get that, you know, then I'll, I'll be more comfortable in that camp. Uh, economic data coming up. We have the China PMI. Last night's PMI, the official number came out, and it was disappointing. Uh, the weakest in a few years, I believe. And uh, so we have another the, the cakes and uh, coming out, and then. Uh, several PMIs out of Europe, and then the highlight in the U.S. will be the PC, core PC price index uh, out of the U.S., and then we get round two of the new Fed Governor Jerome Powell. Let's see if he sounds a little bit less hawkish than he did on uh, Tuesday, which, you know, some are blaming his hawkishness, his upbeat tone being the reason behind the, the equity sell-off. So he'll have another chance tomorrow to speak to Senate, and uh, we'll be listening closely. Uh, that should do it for today. Good luck trading, and uh, keep, a, keep an ear open for us on the European Open. Cheers.